Aloha everyone and welcome back to our channel. I have a good news for you. Look who has been born just a few days ago. Can you guess? It's baby Gemma. She's a healthy little girl. She was born on January 7, early in the morning, and she has been a good sleeper so far. We have been in the hospital for a couple of days now, but today is the day they're letting us go home. Isn't that exciting? And we are going to have a brand new baby on our channel. Do you want to take a closer look at her? Let me show you. Here she is, sleeping in her bassinet. Aw, she's all swaddled up in the blanket from the hospital. And her cute little hat. And she seems to really like this passy. So I let her have it. And here's her little bottle with some milk, ready for when she wakes up. What do you guys think of her? Isn't she adorable? Maybe in a few moments she will wake up and we'll feed her. And then we'll have to get our things together, buckle her in into a car seat, and go home. Oh, baby Gemma, don't cry. Here's your passy. Wow, guys, she's waking up. I think we better feed her. Here, baby girl. Here's your milk. Aw, there you go. What a good girl she is. She's a good eater. Of that I know for sure. A little more. Well guys, I can't wait to take Gemma home and get her into her new bed and show her around and get her all comfy in her home. A little more baby. There you go. After this feeding, we're going to um, change her into her going home outfit and then we're going to put her in her car seat and drive home and get her all settled there. Are you done baby girl? Here, let's give you your passy back. At this stage, she is just sleeping and eating and crying sometimes. I sure hope she will be an easy baby, and I hope she won't be too fussy for us. Well baby, it's time to come out of this bassinet and get changed to go home. Okay. She's only wearing a diaper. Ooh, and look, her little umbilical cord is still there. It will take probably a few more days to fall off. And when it does, we can give her a bath. But for now, we just need to gently wipe around it and keep it clean. There we go. Let's go ahead and change her diaper. But we'll have to be careful about this umbilical cord stump because we don't want to cover it. And that's why they make these cutouts on the newborn diapers so that the umbilical cord will be open. And that way it will heal faster and it will fall off faster. And all that will be left will be a cute little belly button. Looks like Gemma lost her hat already. But that's okay, we're going to put a different hat on her. For going home, I'm going to put this cute little onesie on her. And we'll have a matching hat. I think she looks adorable. Let's put this little hat on her. Oh, even cuter! Now we need some socks and some mitts on her hands. I've got these cute little mitts that can go on her hands. There you go. And these cute little socks. They're a little bit too big, but they will be like leg warmers. 
and she'll be nice and cozy in them. Look at that, she is ready to go home. Let's get her into a car seat. Here's her infant car seat, without which they don't let you out of the hospital. Because they want the babies to be safe in the car while they're going home. Let's buckle her in. There we go. The chest buckle. This one. Let's tighten the straps. There she is. And she's still very sleepy, which is a good thing. Look guys, I forgot to show you. Gemma has this little hospital bracelet that they gave us. And look, it says her name on it, Gemma, and her date of birth, which is January 7. And it says that she's a girl and she was seven pounds and six ounces when she was born and she was 20 and a half inches long. So that's a cute little keepsake we'll be keeping. Okay, Gemma, here's your cozy blanket. They gave us this cozy blanket at the hospital. And I thought it was the cutest. Look at her, she looks so comfy. Let's put her baby bottle here so it will be close when she gets hungry. They also gave us a couple more things at the hospital that I'm going to show you in just a minute. They gave us some Pampers sensitive wipes and also some brand new diapers for Gemma. They also gave us these three things which are Johnson's Baby Lotion, Johnson's Baby Shampoo, and Johnson's Baby Head to Toe Wash. And we'll be definitely using that for Gemma at home. And they also gave us some baby formula to try. So we'll be trying that out maybe next time we'll see you. I will put all these things in the diaper bag. And we'll be ready to go in no time. All ready to go. Here we are guys. Gemma did so well on the way home. Good job baby girl. Let's get you out and let you stretch out on the comfy bed. Here we go. Here we go. Come lay down on this puppy pillow. Oh, you can stretch. Look at her. So cute. Well, guys, it's going to be time for Gemma to go to sleep tonight. And I thought we would change her into pajamas for tonight. Give her her bottle again. And let her sleep for the night. That is until she wakes up hungry again. <laughs> How about this one? This one will definitely match her hat and her passy. It's so much fun to match baby's clothes, isn't it? Well, let's get her socks off and take her mitts off. And we can finally take this hospital bracelet off. I think we'll keep her in this onesie so she'll be nice and comfy. But let's check her diaper and see if it needs changing or not. she's very wet look guys well I think it's time to get her diapers out and her wipes let's wipe you Gemma it's okay we want you to be comfy while you sleep here we go with newborn babies you can go through diapers really fast so I'm glad that they gave us some extra ones at the hospital and you want to change the baby really quick before there is an accident oh Gemma your head is falling off okay it's time to put on your sleeper one foot the other Time to zip it up and snap it. 
Oh my, how cute is this outfit on her? I think she is just a cutie pie. Look, it says so sweet. She is so sweet. Well, we still want to put these little mitts on her so she doesn't scratch herself at night. But also, I think we better swaddle her a little bit. So, I will show you how I swaddle my babies. I like to make a nice edge right there and put the baby's ears right at the edge and right in the middle. Then you take one side and you put one arm like this close to her side and you gently swaddle it up and wrap it up like this and put this part under the baby in a comfortable way. Then you do the same thing with this arm. It really helps babies to sleep well and be calm. Here we go. Just swaddle them up like this. And then the rest of the blanket you put over like this and you wrap it up again and put it under the baby. That way baby's all bundled up and is ready to sleep. She looks pretty happy to me. Let's get her in her bed. Here she comes. For little babies like her, you don't need any pillows because it's better for them to sleep on the flat surface. Unless, of course, they spit up a lot, then you want to raise them up. Here you go. I'm going to put her cozy blanket. I just love the colors on this blanket and how soft it is. Okay, baby girl, here's your last bottle. Let's turn off the lights. I think she fell asleep now, guys. Night night, sweetie pie. Sweet dreams. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today you get to enjoy a video with our newborn baby born doll, Gemma. It's morning here in Hawaii, but Gemma is still sleeping. I swaddled her last night in this blanket, but look, she already got her hand out. I don't think she'll like to be swaddled for long. Oh well, whatever makes her comfy. Well, while Gemma is still sleeping, we'll get busy making her formula for when she wakes up. Also, I recently put together this adorable changing station for her. It has a changing pad right here where we can change her and feed her. It has all kinds of storage and everything is still empty. And it has this cute compartment on the side where you can put diapers or bottles. And I think this would be really handy. So while Gemma is sleeping, why don't we get this station organized and ready for her when she wakes up, shall we? All right guys, so I got some of her clothes that she wears often. I thought let's sort it together and find some places for it. All right, let's separate all the onesies. All right, guys, so we organized our clothes uh, into onesies and the sleeper. Here are some pants, her bib, her cute little socks, and some hats. And I have a stock of diapers here. So now let's find a place for all these things. All right, I'm thinking let's put the clothes in here. Let's get the sleeper in here. Let's put the onesies right there. And let's put the pants there as well. In this little drawer, I'm thinking let's put her diapers so they'll be easily accessible. You know what, with some diapers, I sure should have some wipes. So here we go. I wonder if I can put it like this on the side. Perfect. Okay, now I think let's put a bib here and some of her socks, her hats. I can put the hats here and the bib here too. And I'm thinking let's put some of her headbands in here. So we've got all kinds of cute little headbands that she could wear. We'll put them right here. And there's a little bit of space I'm thinking would be perfect for her pacifiers. Here are some of her pacifiers. Some glow-in-the-dark ones and some of the other ones she likes. So let's put them all in here. Perfect. 
close it up. Wow, it closes perfect too. Oh, this will be so handy when I change her. Look at that. I love it. Okay, and we have a little bit of space here. Hmm, I wonder what we should put in here. Okay, I have this changing pad I can put in here. Then I'm thinking put some of the blankets in here. Here's a swaddle blanket. Here's a little blanket for her crib. Her washcloth for giving her a bath. A cute little toy that makes music. And some rattles. And all of her teethers. What do you think guys? I like how everything could be accessible to me when I'm changing her and I like how I have a lot more room here to put more clothes. Well there's one more place to be organized here and this is the side pockets. Let's go ahead and put some things in here. In the first two pockets let's go ahead and put our baby powder bottle. Nice it fits perfectly and our diaper cream. We'll definitely use this when we're changing her. And in the other two, we can put her bottles. Here's one, and here's the other one. Perfect, now we're ready. Now we can get Gemma out and change her and feed her, and everything will be very accessible to us. All right, one more thing before we bring Gemma over here. Let's go ahead and put a nice cozy blanket on top. How about this one? This is a nice flannel blanket, nice and warm. Now we're ready. Oh, I think I hear Gemma. Let's go ahead and get her. Good morning, Gemma. Aw, looks like you lost her passy. Here you go. Come, let's get you out of these blankets. So cute. Open your eyes, baby. Good morning. Good morning, baby Gemma. Come here. Look at this nice changing station we made for you. Did you sleep good? Oh, Gemma, you're so wiggly. Let us check your diaper. Let's take your pajama off. We'll check your diaper and then we'll put the pajamas back on. I know it's so nice and cozy to be in pajamas here I don't think we'll take the hands out though to keep you nice and cozy okay let's see oh my your night diaper is soaking wet whoa look at that guys you sure wet this diaper let's get our wipes and another diaper All right, Gemma, let's clean you up. You'll feel so much better after this. Here, let's grab our diaper cream and baby powder. Here we go. Let's put our baby powder here. Let's use our diaper cream first. It says all natural, baby soft skin. All right, let's put some on and let's put some here here on her on her diaper area now let's start putting her diaper on let's put a little baby powder here perfect here we go now you're gonna feel so comfy here we go baby Put your bib on. So cute. It says, I love mommy. Well, how sweet is that? And look at that cute little bear. All right, guys, let's make some formula for baby Gemma. And let's see, which bottle do you think we should use today? I'm thinking this one. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Open this up. This is a parent's choice formula. It says gentle for fussiness, gas, and crying. Easy to digest, experts recommend it. Well, let's try it. Let's see if baby Gemma will like it. It comes with a little measuring cup. Let's go ahead and, oops. I've got some drinking water here. Let's fill it up to two ounces right here. 
that's good. Oops, let's not spill any. Okay, it says one scoop unpacked. This looks good. Let's pour it in. Okay, let's close the cap and let's shake it. I can still see some clumps there, so I think we need to shake a little more. Well, this looks good. Let's see if Gemma will like it. Okay, Gemma, it's time to drink your bottle. Here we go. I think she likes it, guys. Need a little burp? Okay, some more. Look at you. Let's wipe you up. Good job, Gemma. I think she likes this formula, guys. Oh, look. That's okay. Oh, look at her. I think she's done. She just left a little bit of milk. That's okay. Let's wipe you. Good job, Gemma. You did such a good job. Here, I think we better burp her now. Good job. Let's take a look what we can dress her in. Let's see, maybe these pants. And maybe this onesie. Maybe I'll try this headband for her. And let's try this passy. Does she need any socks? Let me see. Maybe these ones? Okay, let's go ahead and dress her. Cute, I love this little bow. The pins are a bit too big, but we can roll them up. There we go. So cute. How about a headband, Jamma? How about socks? Too cute. Okay, Jamma. How about I help you sit up a little bit? How about that? She's too cute, guys. You wanna try your new passy with a little bunny? Let's see. Oh, look at her, guys. She's just too adorable. I love this outfit and the passy. And of course, her beautiful green eyes. Well, guys, if you noticed when we were changing her that her umbilical cord fell off. So we are able to give her a bath now. So I was thinking to make our next video with baby Gemma taking her very first bath. <laughs> Aloha everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I have baby Gemma with me and she has been doing so well growing and developing and today she is going to have her first bath. I hope she likes it. Here, I think she wants her passy now. Baby Emma has been such a sweet baby today. She has been happy and playing. She has been enjoying this new rattle we got for her. She likes to pull on the little bee like this and make the rattle spin. Well, it's evening now and it's about time for baby Gemma to have her evening bottle and then we'll try to give her a nice and relaxing bath and see if she will like it. Okay, Gemma, I got your bottle ready. Let's get your toys. Let's snuggle you up in the blanket so you are nice and comfy and get you nice and sleepy. There we go. Okay, let's take your passy off. Mmm, nice milk, yeah? Oops, 
I think we need a bib. Here we go, baby. Aw, so cute. Here you go. She's such a good eater. Good job, Gemma. I'm going to feed her most of the bottle now so she can have a nice and happy bath. And after the bath, she can have what's left over of the bottle. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna leave this much milk for her to have after the bath. It will help her get all nice and sleepy after we bathe her and change her. So, I think she's really happy right now. Let's go ahead and get her ready for bath. Okay, baby girl, here's your passy. Let's save this milk. Now that she's all undressed and ready for her bath, let's wrap her in her blanket until we start the bath. She is so precious, isn't she? Now the neat thing about this changing station is that you can remove this changing pad and set a bathtub in its place. Okay, let's get our bath ready for baby Gemma. First we're going to put some warm water in the bathtub. Then we're going to test it with our elbow and see if it's not too hot. I've got my Johnson's Baby Trio, which is baby shampoo, baby lotion, and baby head-to-toe wash. So we're going to set our baby wash right here. We want to get everything ready before we put the baby in the water, because we don't want to leave baby in the water and go get something later. I got this cute little whale bucket for baby Gemma, so we can pour some water on her. So we'll set it right here. I also have some colorful bath toys for baby Gemma to keep her happy. I recently bought these nice washcloths so we can use it for baby Gemma. Let's get the one with the ducky out. Look how nice and it's so soft. I think she will love it. And of course we do not want to forget our bath towel. I got this cute hoodie towel that I made myself for baby Gemma and we are going to swaddle her in it after the bath. Okay, I think we're ready. Here comes Gemma. Let's take her diaper off and let's gently put her in the water. Let's put some warm water on her. Aww. I think she likes it. It's so nice and warm, isn't it? Let's wash her face, her ears, her eyes. I like how this bathtub is holding up her head because babies cannot hold their heads up yet. We can also give her a toy to play with. She can hold some toys now. There you go. What a cute little toy. The main thing you want to do is to keep baby warm and comfortable. Because as soon as they get uncomfortable, they're going to start getting fussy and it's not going to be a happy time for anyone. I think she really likes it. In fact, it looks like she's falling asleep in here. Let's go ahead and wash a little bit of head-to-toe wash on her. Mmm, it smells so good, doesn't it, Gemma? We don't want to wash her face with soap because we don't want the soap getting into her eyes. Let's wash her little feet. And her back. And now let's use our special whale bucket to rinse her off. All right, guys, we better don't push our luck here. We better get her out and get her comfy. Give her the rest of her bottle and she'll be ready to sleep for the night. Okay, baby Gemma, let me put this towel on your head. Let's not get it wet. Aw, she will be nice and cozy now.
Here she is. Let's dry her off. Let's put a diaper on her. Let's get her sleeper. But before we put the sleeper on, let's put some baby lotion on her. Oh, she's going to smell so good after this and feel so soft. And while we're putting the lotion on her, she's getting a little baby massage. And I think she really likes it. Okay, I think it's time for her sleeper. Okay guys, today baby Gemma will be sleeping in her new sleeping bag. It opens up like this. And it has a cute little pillow for Gemma's head. Let's see if Gemma likes it. It's almost like a swaddling blanket. What do you guys think? I think she loves it. And she's almost out. But let's not forget, she has a bottle to finish. Here we go, baby Gemma. I think she's all done guys. Now we just give her her passy and rock her a little bit. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!